So when the Sony ZV-1 first came out, I uploaded a video showing how you could add a wide angle adapter like this one to increase the field of view of the camera. And today I wanna to take a look at some of the additional accessories that I've found and have enjoyed using with my ZV-1. The first one I wanna take a look at is this small rig L-shaped wooden grip. And you can see that it doesn't really add much bulk to the camera and it looks pretty nice while it's doing it. And the functionality that you get out of this grip is actually really amazing. I mean, first of all, the obvious, even though the ZV-1 already has like that little rubber grip that they added, you know, compared to the RX100 series, obviously this wooden grip by small rig gives you more to hang on to. And it's not just that the grip is sort of bigger around to grab, but it also extends down. So now there's a place for your pinky to rest when you hold on to the camera. I think that this little wood accent actually gives it kind of a classy look, although the wood itself is pretty light feeling, but I guess that's a good thing because you don't want it to add uh, much weight to the camera, but it's definitely not like a solid piece of hardwood or something like that. On the bottom of the cage, you'll see that there's this cold shoe that's out of there. So you could attach something like the Rode Wireless Go without needing to remove the wind muff from the top of the camera. But by far, by far the most exciting feature is the way that SmallRig attaches the L grip to the bottom of the camera. You can see that they added this little uh, sort of tab and then put an Allen screw through it. And because the tab's not covering either side of the battery door, it's actually a really ingenious design. It allows the battery door to open fully and you can see that it opens over that screw. Meaning you can get in there and remove your SD card or change out your battery all without needing to take off the L bracket. If I take the cage off for a minute, you can really see the genius of this design. The tab sort of comes out like this, so it's not impeding the hinge mechanism of the door at all. Because for whatever reason, I don't know why Sony did this, you can see that when they open the door, it actually opens over that quarter 20. I have no idea why Sony would set this up like that, but even more than just having access to the battery door while the L grip is attached, because the L grip gives you all of these additional mounting points, you can then go and attach something like a tripod to the camera like so, and still get in and out of that battery door, no problem, while your tripod or your selfie stick or whatever is attached. Of course, you also now have the flexibility to attach a tripod plate like this Peak Design uh, Arca compatible plate that I use with all my Arca clamps. And you can still get in and out of that battery without needing to remove the tripod plate. So that really addresses one of the big complaints that I've heard about the ZV-1, essentially that that battery door is inaccessible when you have it mounted to a tripod or a selfie stick, or you have any kind of like tripod plate on the bottom. There's also some quarter 20 mounting points on the L-Grip that are placed right behind uh, the actual grip side. And what that'll allow you to do is if you wanna say, put in a cable clamp to secure maybe a microphone uh, cable or a USB power cable, if you wanna run this thing over USB power, or if you're running it out to an HDMI monitor. And that's actually how I primarily use the camera. I have this cable clamp uh, that's also made by Small Rig. They have a bunch of different cable clamps, but this one is the BSC2333. Again, I'll put a link down in the description. But what I really like about this one is that you can clamp two cables at once. So here I've got a USB cable and a HDMI. So with that cable clamp attached, now you don't need to worry about you know a long running HDMI cable, putting any torque onto this delicate you know micro HDMI or the USB. For all of my cameras that I have here in the studio, I run a USB A from a USB power bank, and then that just couples into this micro USB, which is great because it's a quick disconnect if I ever want to take the camera off the you know sort of mounting location. And then I also run an HDMI cable um, from each camera in the studio into a, a ATEM Mini by Blackmagic, and that allows me to switch between up to four different camera angles uh, really easily. And I love using a camera like the ZV-1 with its small one inch sensor as an overhead camera because you get a wider depth of field. You know, right now, because I'm holding the ZV-1 in my hand, I actually have my a7 III full frame camera rigged up there with I think the 28 uh, F2 lens shooting at F2. And you can see that if we switch to that, there's a pretty shallow depth of field going on. If I'm demonstrating two objects that aren't perfectly aligned in the same focal plane, one's gonna seem out of focus compared to the other. All right, let's get this cable clamp out of here for now while we talk about our next accessory. So the next item I wanna talk about is this minimal wrist strap by Moment. Moment's that company that started making kind of those premium um, like iPhone uh, lens adapters. So you get a wide angle lens or a zoom lens on the iPhone, but now they make a bunch of other different camera accessories. But what I really like about this Moment strap is that it really strikes a nice balance between kind of like the super cheap $5, you know, phone wrist straps that they sell and then something more bulky, like that Gordy's wrist strap that I showed in a previous video. Something like that, it's just a little bit bulkier when you put it inside of a bag, it tends to kind of take up some space. Whereas this Moment wrist strap, you can see just like rolls up, takes up nothing in the bag, it's super flexible. Um, you 
if you aren't using it, you don't even really know it's there. If you're just grabbing the camera out of the bag real quick, it doesn't get in your way. But if you look at the strap that actually attaches it, you know, this seems like, I don't know, I trust this. This seems like the same kind of material as these little Peak Design leash thingies. It feels like it's about the same thickness. So if you trust these Peak Design leash attachments uh, to prevent your camera from falling, you probably trust this moment wrist strap as well. And in case you're wondering, you can fit the wrist strap directly to the ZV-1, although it took a little bit of finessing. And once it's in there, you know, it really fits the size of the camera perfectly. You can toss this whole thing in a bag and it's not gonna add any more bulk. All right, the last accessory I wanna take a look at today is the Sony battery and travel charger kit for the NPBX1 battery. So this is something I originally picked up uh, for use with my old FDR X3000, the best Sony action camera, even though it's years old at this point, because Sony, for whatever reason, just won't come out with a new one. And, you know, one of the legitimate criticisms of the ZV-1 is that the battery life isn't great. If you haven't used them before, these batteries are really, really tiny. So it comes as no surprise that the ZV-1 would shoot through them when you're shooting 4K video. You know, you probably want to have a couple of these things laying around. But with this uh, charger here, you can keep an extra one with you and charge it up over micro USB. Maybe you have a battery bank or something in your backpack. And then when the battery goes dead in the camera, you can just swap out the fresh one into the camera and start charging wherever you are with this little uh, portable charger. And then it's actually pretty reasonably priced. It's $50 for the charger, but it comes with a battery and the battery itself is $35. So really you're only paying like an extra 15 bucks to come with the charger. You know, I just love this thing. It's so convenient. I would never buy one of these NPB1, or sorry, BX1 batteries uh, from Sony without also paying the extra 15 bucks to get this sled. I mean, if you're gonna buy like a Wasabi battery or something like that, that's probably like eight bucks. Um, then obviously that's gonna be a lot cheaper. But if you are gonna pay for the brand name Sony battery, then I think it's worth forking over the extra money to have it come with this case. So that's everything that I wanna talk about. I really enjoyed rambling on about all these different uh, accessories for the Sony ZV-1. If you've made it this far, hopefully you enjoyed listening and you might consider subscribing. And if you do, hopefully I will see you in the next video.